areas in C language. Consider a scene where a teacher is asking some questions to a student named Raj. Teacher asked Raj, How will you store the roll numbers of five students of your class in a C program? Raj then said that he will take five integer variables for storing the roll numbers. Then the teacher said that if the number of students goes up to 100, then what will you do? Will you take 100 different variables for storing the roll numbers? Raj replied by saying no. Teacher then told that the answer to above question is array. Raj got confused and asked teacher, what is an array? How are they declared and used? Teacher then showed some images to the student and explained them that the items on each picture share a lot of characteristics, though each one still maintains specific features that set it apart from the others. Therefore, an array is a collective name given to a group of similar quantities. These similar quantities could be percentage marks of 100 students, number of chairs in home, or salaries of 300 employees, or ages of 25 students, etc. Thus, an array is a collection of similar elements. These similar elements could be all integers, or all floats, or all characters, etc. Usually, the array of characters is called a string, whereas an array of integers or floats is simply called an array. In arrays, we should know in advance the type of data elements we wish to store and the maximum number of elements we want to store in an array. Arrays can be of two types, one-dimensional and multi-dimensional array. Every one of the pictures above represents a single-dimensional array. Now, we talk about one-dimensional array. The array which is used to represent and store data in a linear form is called a single or one-dimensional array. 1D Array Declaration Syntax The declaration starts with data type name followed by the name of the array that we want to declare and then the index denoting the size of the array is given. Examples of declaring arrays int age 12 float grade 100 Here int age 12 declares a group or array of 12 values each one being an integer float grade 100 declares an array of 100 floating point values each element in the array is stored in contiguous memory location. Diagram shows the logical memory representation of 1D array, that is, A, array name, X, array starting memory location, V is size of each element in bits. Elements in an array are accessed through an index with valid value 0 to n minus 1 if n is the size of the array. Once constructed, an array object's length cannot change.
to initialize a one-dimensional array. The syntax used is the data type of the array followed by the array name and the number of elements in an array and then the value of all the elements in array. We can initialize an array in two ways. Method 1. Either we can give values after declaring an array. An integer type array having 12 elements is initialized along with the 12 integer values of the array. An array of integer type of size 3 is created and stepwise the values of 3 integers are stored in the array in the order of their index. At index 0, value 1 is stored. At index 1, value 2 is stored. At index 2, value 3 is stored. Method 2 We can take the values as inputs from the user. Array can also be initialized by above method. Another way to initialize an array is to first declare an array of integer type having 12 elements. Then the printf statement prints enter 12 integer numbers, informing the user to give 12 integer values. The for loop runs for 12 times and helps to get these 12 values one by one according to the index value using scanf statement. Features of one dimensional array Array size should be positive number only. String array always terminates with null character. Array elements are countered from 0 to n minus 1. Useful for multiple reading of elements, that is, numbers.